Help, I'm trapped. Help. It's not that the bird can't get out of the cage, even though it's like, obviously there's nothing holding the bird from getting out of the cage. The saddest thing about this image is that most people think this isn't the situation they're in, when in fact they actually have far more protection than this bird does. What I mean is that sometimes the cage actually helps us. Like we have limiters on our brain and our muscles so that when we go to lift things, we don't immediately injure ourselves. Do you guys understand that? Cars could go a lot faster, but a lot more people would die because of it. The patterns and limitations that we have as human beings are in part to preserve us. And so while sometimes, yes, being in a cage sucks, not having a cage kind of sucks too. Let me explain. So if you've never seen this before, this is called human design and it uses your exact birth time to calculate this. It's called a body graph. For someone like me who's spent over a decade studying subtle bodies and energetics, this is quite literally a map. And when it comes from getting to point A to point B, this is going to tell me where there might be rivers that I can't cross or mountains that might get snowed in. See, the problem is not our our limitations and the cages that we find ourselves in. It's not being able to see them and then not being able to appreciate them for the function that they have. This body graph tells me this person's limitation is that they're not going to find success in anything unless they wait for an invitation and recognition. It also tells me because of that center right there that if this person isn't following their intuition and they're not taking care of their health, even if they do get good invitations, they're not going to be able to show up for them. This person is also prone to hyper-focusing on getting attention and proving themselves. And they're highly empathic to other people's emotion, other people's sexual creative energy, other people's direction, the way other people think, and other people's problems and the things that they're inspired by. Even just having the awareness of those simple things with your body graph, which you can generate for free on my website, has the ability to completely transform the way that you view your cage. And instead of being like this bird trapped in some like weird psychosis around, oh, I'm the one holding myself back. I have these limitations that I impose upon myself. You can step into actually accepting, taking ownership and learning to appreciate and love the cage and the limitations that you have in your life. Now understand that this is not an overnight fix to whatever problems you think you have. This is a map and a compass to help you see yourself so that you can love yourself. And in that process, you're also gonna see some things that are not really you. You're gonna see some things that's hard to love. This is about cultivating self-awareness and compassion for yourself and others. And while it is simple, it is by no means easy. Of the 4% of the world that is actually capable of being themselves, only 4% of that 4% are actually going to do it. And if you're watching this video, especially if you've made it to this point, chances of you being 4% of 4% are high. The next step for you if you want to learn more about this is just go to my website, reikimarco.com, and either get yourself a report or download this app, Neutrino Design. Don't spend another day like this bird, underappreciating your cage and blaming it for all your problems. Start to learn how to appreciate your cage and just learn how to use the door so that you can come in and out at your leisure. Cool? Bye.